please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon if you have liked the video hello all okay in the last uh, video we were uh, looking into the concept of learning and we started with that okay so in the last uh, slide we just saw how the concept learning is okay and also we saw this particular example uh, about uh, the days on which our friend david enjoys his favorite water sport with this particular kind of experience in the form of training data okay fine so now uh, let's begin with uh, to have a better understanding on this uh, the learning task okay so before that uh, we need to understand certain prerequisites like uh, uh, the about the some few terms okay before this important one is uh, the hypothesis okay so i'll make one simple statement here see for example when you look into this data so wherever sunny is there the uh, the david is enjoying his water sport okay and where it is rainy and uh, the enjoy sport is no so shall i make some statement like uh, sunny uh, the david is going to enjoy the sport only when the sky is sunny okay so now in that particular statement now if when i make that statement so our uh, perf our particular statement will perfectly fit for all of these uh, four uh, the data points right the data entries right okay so but when i make such a statement when i make such a statement so that is that is uh, like a hypothetical statement but when i make such statements when i provide any hypothetical statement to prove that i need to have certain proofs for that okay okay so that's we call as any hypothetical statement so we need to prove it to prove that whether the study the whether the statement made is true or not okay so but uh, to uh, uh, see again uh, we are giving some these are english lang english kind of the language form of uh, the statements but in mathematically we need to describe them in the form of notations right so that's what uh, uh yeah, the, those hypothetical statements have to be represent in form of certain uh, the symbol or the language okay so let's look into that for example now i say that how we perform the hypothesis representation see when you consider such a simple example again when we have like learning a very complex problem or a complex thing so uh, the representation will become very complex but uh, to with a simple understanding for this kind of uh, the concept right where uh, the david is going to enjoy his enjoy the particular day that enjoy, uh, enjoy or not okay so in that case so let's go with a very simple representation right so here are three things which we can represent uh, any hypothesis okay so the particular symbol the question mark that any value is acceptable means indicating that any value is acceptable okay and uh, is specify a single required value for that attribute or uh, we can uh, define certain attribute value for that and uh, this null indicates that no value is acceptable so so all these three conditions take for um, using them we can form the the hypothetical statement so again this hypothetical statement will not be nothing, nothing but a, a conjunction of the constraints on the six instance attributes okay sorry okay let me select this okay fine hmm. the conjunction of attributes on the six instance attributes so now these three are my conditions what is that the question mark and then it can be any value or and this could be a, a pi indicating that uh, uh, no value is acceptable for example i given a simple example now this is one simple hypothetical uh, statement where uh these are our uh, six uh, attributes okay six attributes and representing uh, the first attribute okay and when i provide a question mark it indicate that any value is acceptable okay and the cold i think the it has to be cold and it has to be high and uh, these three thing could be anything okay to make the, uh, whether this hypothetical hypothetical statement could be true for example in the last uh, uh, slide what we uh, i made one statement something like uh the days on which the, the the day on the day on david 
enjoys his water sport when the day is sunny okay means that the sky is cold to sunny then definitely he is going to enjoy the sport on that particular day so now if i want to make uh, represent this particular hypothetical statement in the form of the the representation having the conjunction of the attribute constraints okay so this i can represent it in a very simple form right so with an angle bracket and uh, i will have the 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay this is 1 2 3 4 5 and the last one is sixth okay so uh, the i i think the forecast could be anything for me so what i will do it could be anything so that i will make a question mark remaining question mark remaining question mark remaining question mark and the, the first one could be sunny okay so now my hypothetical statement where i made a statement like the david will enjoy his water sport on on the day when the sky is sunny so now this will be my hypothetical statement and you can see this when when you just parse through this particular uh, uh, hypothetical statement right so i think uh, all the the data points will agree to this particular hypothesis correct okay so this is how we represent uh, 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 the hypothesis okay so this is one simple understanding on that okay so this here you have to remember this the question mark is a simple and uh, so there is five single required value for that attribute and the um, this uh, null will be represented by no values represented by your uh, pi okay now uh, see uh, i'll make h of x equal to 1 and uh, h of x equal to 0 i can have two values okay let's say that h is a hypothesis to represent and i can represent let's call this as like a function where it is taking a input instance x and it will return a 1 or 0 right okay so what do you mean by this when i say h of x equal to 1 this particular hypothesis statement for all the instances okay it is going to satisfy and otherwise it will be a zero okay in our earlier example okay so this example i made sunny is equal to where this is my let's say this is my h h equal to sunny and all rest of my pa, the the attribute values are take any values right so only the first attribute will take only the sunny if i just scan through all my the data points here okay and i think uh, uh, The the first one will be satisfied, second one will be satisfied, and even third will be also satisfied because sunny is there, rainy is there, and this is this will be my uh, negative statement where I will call it as a no, and uh, even the last statement also. Then uh, I can tell you that h of x where x is can take all those four uh, instances. Then I can say h of x is equal to one here. Okay. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. H of x equal to one means if example x satisfies all of the constraints and x of 0 means otherwise right the most uh, okay fine so this is uh, this this i think this we have understood like uh, uh, meaning of when i say h of x equal to 1 and when i say h of x equal to 0 where x is take a, can take any instance and h is your like a fun hypothesis function when i say h of x is equal to 1 means this particular instances going to get satisfied by this particular hypothesis okay fine so the most general hypothesis and the most specific hypothesis the most general hypothesis means this but i represent any hypothesis with all the question marks it means that all of my instances are going to get satisfied with this because i don't have any other constraints right so any value it can get satisfied so that will be my most general hypothesis and what will be my most specific hypothesis when i provide a pi into it because none of the values are satisfied okay so in this case when i say h equal to when i say this is h1 and this is h2 okay and when i say h1 is equal to this one any instance you take in the data so this will get satisfied when i take any value instance the h2 is not going to satisfied because 
So none of the values are satisfied with this particular hypothesis. Then this is the very important uh, when we representation of the task. Okay, when any learning task is given, so these are the important uh, things which actually gets provided with the problem. Okay, so initially you will have the set of instances. Okay, so what kind of instances are given here? So now this will be my the instances. This is represented by your x. Okay, this is your x where. Where it represents the the all the input actually this is your input training data where x fine now the target concept will be represented by your c and this is defined for x where the your target output will be a zero or one okay so what is happening here there are two steps here when the training data is given this is your x. And this is equal to C, okay. And X will be nothing but all of your training instances, and uh, C will be your target variable. Having uh, since we are discussing on the binary uh, problem, so again this will be your zero or one, yes or no, something like that, right? So again uh, we are going to call this C as a a target concept or a target function, okay, okay. So C will be x equal to it could be two values zero or one okay so this what c is a function which takes the input x and outputs the zero or one so that is the meaning of that then the training examples could be a pair of uh, two things one is your input instance and one more is your target concept that is c of x right so that is one thing then uh, the data set d is is a subset of x right so the d is a bigger thing this is a complete data set and again this will be a subset of x here okay then a set of possible hypothesis h i just uh, we look into the representation of uh, how the hypothesis will look like right so again the h is a capital h which will involve all the set of uh, hypothesis into it okay so there could be n number of or some finite number of hypothesis into it then let h belongs to h of h then again h is also a, a function which actually takes the input as x and also it provides the output as 0 or 1 right and our end goal of learning should be the h of x should be equal to c of x okay i think we'll uh, take one simple example and uh, we'll look into the our next video time being just understand on how if any learning problem is given and these are the things which we need to understand and take a look and our final objective should be that we need to find out the final hypothesis which is going to satisfy all of the instances okay so that is the reason h of x is equal to c of x